Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing the legendary Iron Man version of this wonderful mod beta 1. I am back, it's the 22nd of February, so we're almost playing live. And uh, I've done the pre-recording. Thank you so much for of your positive feedback. I got some good news for you. Number one, um, you apparently liked uh, the playthrough so much that we're going to continue with it. So this is the first of hopefully some more recordings of Long War. Number two, I upgraded my PC quite a bit. So a new graphic card and an SSD. Uh, hard drive should get rid of all of uh, the issues that we had with recording. Actually, the performance increased quite substantially, so everything that's now lagging is unfortunately up to uh, memory leaks from the mod and not so much from my PC. Thirdly, I finally got uh, the new soldiers on board and I wanted to uh, introduce them to you. Most of you have signed up for uh, this campaign in the very first episode, so it only took 36 episodes to get everyone on board. Great. Um, let's start with who our new recruits are. Uh, Sane Elliot is going to join us. He's going to be our main uh, shinobi. Great to have you on board. I absolutely like the face tattoo there. We got Haywired who wanted to have a character. Welcome, buddy, on board. I gave you a sniper. Everyone loves snipers because they kill shit and are super useful, specifically in the end game. So good to have you on board. Uh, we have uh, Scott, Sean, Seanigans, uh, Meg Glanzen. Um, this is a very uh, stereotypical name. Um, I apologize if that is too Scottish. Anyways, uh, good to have you uh, on board, buddy. Uh, you're going to be one of our main um, assaults. Then we got Quick Feet, someone, uh, one of our viewers who has a very cl uh, critical or very particular um, uh, visual description of his character. Uh, so, uh, Canadian. Um, modeled exactly like you I wanted him to be modeled. My only tip or um, suggestion there would be you wanted to have blue eyes. I would have given him probably yellow or pink eyes to resemble some alien DNA, but I modeled it as uh, you um, wished it. We got uh, Divap. Divat, uh, who is a longtime viewer, so I uh, also modeled a kind of battle-hardened roughneck sort of soldier, very much tatted. A Frenchman with a sniper rifle, what could possibly go wrong? You're going to be the main slash backup uh, sniper, 61 kills. You're going to definitely carry your weight during uh, this uh, a playthrough. We got Dark Tower, um, uh, Noxus, uh, Dark Tower Noxus, who now wants to be called Gino Dark Tower Slash, uh, did that as well. Um, and we finally got Mike Bravo. Uh, last but certainly not least, Mike, I got you. Um, I uh, created the character, hopefully as you wanted, with a five o'clock beard, and you wanted a uh, uh, cap, but I didn't know which one. So since you are saying mate in the comments uh, from time to time, I figured you might be from Australia. So I gave you the crocodile dundee ahead and yeah, now you're Australian as well. Uh, welcome. And all of you have been added to the character pool. So for future runs, uh, these viewers will be potentially drafted. Great. Let's take a look at the overall situation, then we can directly jump into uh, the uh, mission for today. Um, I spent kind of half an hour to just gather my mental fortitude and also know where we are. We have uh, liberated uh, most of Africa. No, actually all of Africa and um, what ha not liberated. We have uh, started to be active in all of Africa and contacted all of the regions. We're now starting to liberate one by one. Uh, the first one here clearly in North Africa, Quebec, uh, which uh, this is the main mission to look after. In the meantime, we are being attacked and it's one of the most difficult mission types. Uh, so I was thinking whether or not I even want to do it. But since we haven't done it yet, I felt, yeah, we might want to give it a try. So it's a resistance uh, recruiters evacuation mission, which essentially means that we're going to start uh, pretty much uh, with a few um, VIPs 
and it's our job to bring them to a fixed uh, evacuation zone. So it can go terribly wrong because we can't evac, but I hope that we're going to be fine. Uh, this mission is going to be led uh, by Mike Bravo uh, as well as uh, Diva tier. Uh, they are going to be our experienced soldiers and we filled it up with a skirmisher um, and uh, assault. Uh, for our DPS we're going to use an infantry as well as a um, specialist. It, I didn't uh, have any choices as you can see we still have two soldier slots open but there is actually like no one whom we could pick because everyone is either on covert ops infiltrating yeah and that's pretty much it there is essentially we could take a rookie with us hmm nah Let's continue the shinobi training. I actually don't want a random class. So it's good the way it is. We're going to uh, uh, start it. Uh, I've put in enough uh, armor penetrating uh, rounds and we also built some vests just to make sure that the hit points are high enough. I'm expecting heavy, heavy, heavy resistance. Uh, specifically, a lot of uh, the um, reinforcements will, will come in. So let's see how this one is going to play out. All right, we landed. Time to get going. This here is the emergency evac. Oh my God, and we're having reinforcements right away. Let's take a look at the map. Hmm, I like the high ground here. That's not too bad. And over here, that's actually pretty good. A lot of like solid full cover. Yeah, I think we can work with that. Before we get going, ooh, did you hear how the music started? It's an indication that there must be an enemy pack back here or here. Interesting. Put everyone into full cover. Good. The more important part is how we're positioning our actual XCOM operatives. The reinforcements can only come in. <sighs> that already triggered it. Very unfortunate. The reinforcements can only come in from the very beginning. Hmm. But we could. Maybe it's not the worst uh, thing in the world uh, that we triggered them. We're using a grappling hook. Let's move over here. We're taking the high ground and keeping it. That's not bad. I think this here is solid. We got armor penetrating rounds and we're going to have two shots. First one worked very well. Second one unfortunately missed. Hmm. This here should flank the mutant. Too bad. I was hoping that we would get him down. Unfortunately, that's not the case. 35% definitely not good enough to take a shot.
can position ourselves up here. That would probably do it. Yeah. So let's try to get rid of the mutant first. 12% is unfortunately really bad. I'll rather overwatch here. Okay, so we could move up. We should uh, move up to here. Hmm. We still got reinforcements incoming. Got a flashbang, which might save us. the best time to use it might as well just suppress the viper up there Copy that. moving into position let's see theoretically we can suppress both of them that's not bad so that's kind of the backup if the other things are not going to work out We gotta get into uh, onto high ground, so there's only so much I can do from down here. Probably should have marked him instead. That's a 40% chance. We're probably going to take the high chance of 70% walk fire and take care of him. That was good. Still got a suppression left over and an overwatch here. Good. Suppression means it can spit its acid. And that's when the reinforcements come into play. Got a grenadier here. Definitely need to take care of that guy first. So five enemies. The Vipers have Shadow Step. Enemies on the move! They're flanking us! What was that? Alright, lost the first VIP. That's very unfortunate. And we're down two VIPs. Are you kidding me? Got some ads right here. We're getting in a pretty serious firefight now. And thanks to their ability to immediately act, by the way, I'm not even um, having an opening here, so they just get bonus actions. <laughs> I wholeheartedly I, I cannot even express how much I disagree with the design decision that um, that allows the enemies to act immediately it is absolute 
a disaster, a disaster and a bullshit idea to begin with, but whatever. Let's start cleaning up, shall we? Alright, that's good to know that we're having an option to kill this uh, guy right away. Let's see, what's the probably best solution here? I would say we're we need to get the shield bearer down here. Good. Very good. Um So that's a pretty high chance to actually kill him, which I think we should go for. We got our more penetrating rounds. A nice little death from above. Which means we can holo target the next targets. We were to move to here. That's a step back, but we would uh, secure our flank. Well, that's one uh, option. Let's think through the options here. Could move up to here, but that's a full cover scenario. The Viper here is nasty. We can't kill this guy immediately, so that's a problem as well. Hmm. Could move up to essentially here and shoot the barrel, kill this guy. Not a bad move. Gives us a lot of engagement potential next turn. Put the VIP into safety and forget about uh, the Overwatch. Great. That was, by the way, a complete uh, complete noob move. I should have known better. Alright, Mike's going to here. Let's get the engineer down. Nailed him. I like the idea with the engagement potential over here. Lightning reflexes. We should have done that, by the way, beforehand. He has lightning reflexes, so... He could have taken the overwatch shot. 
That's 100% kill. Doesn't matter that the loot is destroyed. What matters is that we're not going to die. Okay, we could either increase the defense of someone. I mean, we can position ourselves here, theoretically. Still like the idea of them coming in. And we got to deal with a Psy Zombie one way or the other. So what I'm proposing is reload. Get rid of the zombie. Good enough. And now, are we going? Does anyone need more cover? I mean, yes, theoretically, over here, they're probably going to be poisoned again. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, might as well take an Overwatch. On the other hand, the SMG just falls off so incredibly when taking long distance shots. Might as well consider moving over here into full cover. That again would trigger the mech to use um, to use its rockets instead. Go all the way over to here. However, that's a very distant position. Here is too far in the center. Gives him something to do instead of moving. Yeah, there are pros and cons for many of the positions. Up here wouldn't be too bad, but we can't reach that. This is too exposed. We don't have the hit points to pull this one off. Might as well overwatch. It's not going to be the greatest overwatch, but it's going to be okay. Is that another pack? Of course. Alright, we're in a solid stalemate firefight and it's going to get worse and worse. However, on the upside, we we're having pretty solid, we're having pretty solid positions overall. Alright, time for revival protocol to make sure that we keep our soldiers in the combat. Reloading 
So we could use a flashbang, probably not the worst idea considering that we could take out three of them. Two. One more round until reinforcements, by the way, so gotta be careful there. Nice. Minus 20 from being poisoned. Not too bad. So we got an overwatch, gotta be careful with that. Could move up to here. Draw the overwatch. That will probably not solve our issues though. Enemy is standing in full cover, which sticks. Now we're going to use the flashbang with him. I already decided that. We only got a 50-50 chance with Diva up here. Might as well take the sniper shot because we have no other targets. I think our position there is fine with him. Fortunately, the enemies seem to be completely in full cover. Can we? Drop down here? No, we can't hit the mech. So I think with regards to the Viper, we're just going to suppress her for now. Can't reach her. Flashbang grenade here. That's the right play. Good. Now, we do have uh, still an issue with the Mac. Let's heal ourselves and hit the Mac. We are in non-destructible full cover. I still think that that is better than any other position. to here and overwatching and 
we are going to here, which is still a full cover spot. I just don't want them to cluster up because grenades on high ground really, really suck. But means both are, would be hit and would take damage and would fall down, potentially even die. Okay, so that guy's burning, which isn't bad. We're sending in full cover. The mech may or may not flank us. I originally wanted to use the overwatch to kill the mech. Clearly didn't work out. Well, and on top of all of that, we're getting some losts. <laughs> Fantastic. Lovely. Good. I know you guys are probably going to hate me for what I'm about to say, but how about this is a nice cliffhanger uh, to end the episode and uh, uh, and continue it the next time. It's unfortunately not my fault that the missions are becoming longer. They are sometimes a grind. I don't see that uh, in the next five to ten minutes I'm going to get out of here. Uh, we're having a pretty hefty firefight in front of us and uh, this is a perfect moment of full desperation where no one believes that we can pull it off. Um, yeah, okay, perfect. Anyways, if you liked uh, what you've seen, keep a message down below um, and maybe cheer a little bit for the continuation of this campaign. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Have a great day and see you soon. Bye-bye.